when you're praying in, in other tongues you are plugging yourself to the power source and you are generating energy on the inside so as you are going in the spirit kayato zini mini kayen don zivele taya gadabaha zon don ben den gen den don zen bele kayna na noze laboram don zilifrene kayana na na jena you may have entered your prayer room weak in the spirit but you emerge strengthened in your inner man hey guys good day good day yeah welcome back to this channel this is the naya at Wokes, and this is episode three of a very powerful series that we are currently on the baptism of the holy spirit so in this series we are um, trying to x-ray the baptism of the holy spirit you know um coning down on speaking in, in other tongues so we've talked about um the benefits of tongues in our first episode and second episode we talked about the benefits of speaking in other tongues and if this is our first time here um the links to this um first two episodes will be in the description below so do where to check it out and watch them first before continuing with this video so if this is your first time here and you know this series is what you would love to be part of it's important that you subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be not notified whenever we go live we know we'll be going live every day for the next couple of days till we complete the series and it's important that you know you know that you be a part of the daily series so that you can have a holistic um understanding of this concept and you know um if I, a person is seeking the experience of being baptized in the holy ghost you know you would you know come into that experience so you are welcome once again you know for those of us that have been here i say thank you thank you thank you for being here thank you for taking on this journey with us god bless you so um in this episode three we we would um try to connect the dots from the old testament you know talking about baptism of the holy spirit is it something that just popped up in the new testament is, is it something that just you know out of nowhere just entered the mind of god oh let's do this will be fine you know, in the new testament or has it been an existing concept in the mind of god has it been existing in, in the prophetic timeline all through the dispensations you know we are about to find that out so by the grace of god will be by the spirit trying to um trace a line from the law to the prophets to jesus to the first disciples and then we'll see the connection how god you know right from the very beginning had been emphasizing on this truth do you understand so the the reason we want to do this is because there are some circles that believe that you know or that think that the baptism of the holy spirit is is just a pentecostal phenomenon that it, 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 it is just something you know that the pentecostals do you know speaking in tongues is just something that you know the pentecostal churches are known for so by the end of this video you you begin to understand that the baptism of the holy spirit do you understand with the with the enablement that comes with it has been in the mind of god ever since it's not a new testament thing it's something that has been in the prophetic timeline he has been you know he has been progressing from dispensation to dispensation up until the first um disciples experienced it do you understand so let's 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 quickly um go into the scriptures you know um by the grace of god i will try to you know be making this video short short do you understand so we'll be as fast as we can so um the first place that we'll be heading to is the life of moses you know we'll, we'll be picking up a scenario from the life of moses in the book of numbers chapter 11. so when you read through that chapter you'll find out that from the beginning of the chapter is it was as though of course we know that the israelites at that point they were stiff necked people stiff necked people rather so they they were not easy people to to you know um to lead and moses was leading millions of them i think um his history has it that there were about three million or there were about two to three million if i'm not mistaken so moses was the only one in charge of this great number of people and these people were not cooperating they were always grumbling you know at this in this particular chapter they began to you know grumble about the the food they were eating they were not satisfied with manna <laughs> do you understand so they began to remember the meat they were eating in in egypt to remember the garlic to remember the melon the cucumber can you imagine melon cucumber garlic that's what they, they were remembering it, 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 uh, uh, because um 
when you look at the things that we clamor for the things that draw us away from god and you begin to compare it with the eternal weight of glory you begin to see that these things are ephemerals but they are the things that our flesh longs for and they can if we are not um if we are not careful they can draw us away from god do you understand the things that king solomon called vanities that's what our flesh longs for and those things can you know can is is capable enough to draw us away from god if we are not careful if we don't take heed so the israelites were you know they were they were they, there was a dissatisfaction in them they were not satisfied with what god had provided for them they were not satisfied with the man and they began to grumble and this began to you know affect moses the, the leadership now became a burden upon him and he began to cry to god and what he was like god who am i am i the person that gave birth to all these people why put their weight upon me why put this great burden upon me do you understand so in response god told him moses um choose 70 leaders 70 elders from these people that will help you and what will happen is that i will take up the spirit that is upon you and place on this 70 and then they will help you in the work the day came for these 70 men to be taken to the tent of meeting so that the the transfer would happen the transference will happen the impartation will happen and I don't know what happened but two men were left behind in the in the in the camp so this is eight men went right and then god took up the spirit that was upon moses and placed upon them and then they began to prophesy hmm? so something you must take note of before we continue is that in the dispensation of the law in the old testament the spirit of god does not come upon every man the spirit of god only comes upon men that have an assignment to perform so for example the kings the priests the prophets those were the key offices that the 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 spirit of god would come upon so when samuel took the jar of oil and anointed david the scripture says that the spirit of god came upon him from that moment do you understand because of his assignment because of his um office so the holy spirit was not available to every um israelite it was just for those who had special assignments so because these 70 have been chosen to you know assist moses in the work that is the reason that god was taking the spirit upon moses and putting upon these ones do you understand so that's very important to note because it's a it's a major difference between the dispensation of the law and the dispensation of grace so now when the the spirit of god came upon this um six eight men in the in the tent of meeting that's the tabernacle they began to prophesy now the two men that did not come that were in the camp also started prophesying in the camp and because it was a strange thing you know the people in the camp ran to moses or to joshua and told and began to announce that there are people prophesying in the camp it was it's not it, it was not done in those days do you understand when you want to when the people prophesying prophesied in the tent of meeting not in the camp so they reported the incident to to, to um joshua and joshua ran to moses and told him then joshua the son of Nun, the attendant of moses from his youth said my lord moses stop them verse 29 which is where i've been headed to all this while you know but moses said to him are you jealous for my sake would that all the lost people were prophets and that the lord would put his spirit upon them so joshua was telling moses stop these people from prophesying in the camp but moses said no are you jealous for my sake are you afraid that once these people start prophesying they will not respect me again you say mm, uh, uh, he, 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 he now told joshua something my desire my utmost desire is that the lord every every one of god's people will become a prophet and that god would put his spirit upon them right so we see moses expressing a desire and i believe it was it was something he picked up 
in the spirit at, because of the prophetic atmosphere that was that was there so he was actually you know being prophetic he was actually seeing something even though he may not have known it, it was, he just expressed that's his desire that there is a desire i have that not only me so he was looking into a dispensation whereby the people that god is using will not just be the a, a select few it will be everybody right everybody every child of god every person that is named by the name of god that god will be using them that was his desire and that's very important because the the kind of christianity that many people practice is the christianity of one man show whereby there is the moses holding the rod and you know the other multitudes that are just following him not knowing what god is doing not you know god not using them so that 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 era of one man show moses was saying me myself i'm even envisaging a time that it will be over do you understand so this was the desire of moses now as we will discover as we continue the baptism of the holy spirit is simply the spirit upon is simply god putting his spirit upon us do you understand so what was happening here is was a shadow of the baptism of the holy spirit it was a shadow it was a shadow god was using a a, a select few to shadow what was to come and Moses expressed expressed the desire that he wished that everybody would be brought into this expression. Now, that was the man of the law because Moses is the law. So we see that this concept was available in the in, in the law. Now we fast forward to the time of Joel the prophet. We now see Joel picking up this 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 signal in the spirit and he prophesied that a time was coming do you understand where god will pour out his spirit joel chapter 2 verse 28 it says it shall come about after this that i shall pour out my spirit on all mankind and your sons and your daughters will prophesy your old men will dream dreams your young men will see visions so um the prophet jewel caught something in the spirit and said that a time is coming that the that god will power the spirit upon all flesh mark the word all flesh before then it was just on a select few the kings the prophet the 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 priest and any person that has special assignment so he was saying that a time is coming that god is going to power the spirit upon all flesh and there will be diverse manifestations so moses expressed the desire that he wished that everybody was a prophet that was his desire and prophet joel now caught a prophecy now caught a a, a caught something in the prophetic timeline and said that a time is actually coming when god will power the spirit upon all flesh and there'll be diverse manifestations visions dreams the prophetic and that's one thing you must take note of that when the holy ghost comes upon do you understand there is always an enablement there is always an enablement an initial or, or an uh, an evidence of that coming upon he, he 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 enables you in the time of moses when the holy ghost came upon them they began to prophesy that was the enablement that came upon them in the in the in the prophecy of joy he began to say that they will also prophesy there will be people that will see dreams uh, or that will see visions others will dream dreams and all of that and all of that so there is always an enablement it's important and it's it's good that i keep that in mind as we progress so moses desired it joel prophesied it now when jesus came into the scene eh, he talked about it also in acts chapter 1 the scripture says while being together and eating with them he commanded them not to leave jerusalem but to wait for what the father had promised of which he said yea you have heard me speak for john baptized with water but you will be baptized and empowered and united with the holy spirit not long from now so jesus was saying that you know what moses desired what prophet joel prophesied is is about to come into manifestation so jesus as it were endorsed it he said this is real this has been in the prophetic timeline and now it's coming into manifestation 
and in acts chapter 2 verse 4 we see the early disciples coming into that reality coming into that experience acts chapter 2 verse 4 he says and you know they were all baptized with the holy spirit he said they, they, they were all filled with the holy spirit and then they began to speak in other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance so we see that moses desired it um joel prophesied it jesus talked about it or endorsed it and then the first disciples experienced it so we can see that you know we have been able to trace the line from the law to the prophets to jesus to the first disciples and we have seen that the baptism of the holy spirit is something that has been in the mind of god ever since do you understand so the baptism of the holy spirit is not it's not for a few because when he came in acts chapter 2 verse 4 he said and he filled and all of them were filled with the spirit all 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 mark that word all he was not coming upon a select few he was coming upon everybody present in that place that was what moses desired that was what joel prophesied that was what jesus talked about and that was what they were now experiencing so if you are out there and you are thinking oh it's the holy spirit baptism for me it is for every believer anyone that is called by the name of the lord is 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 to is to be a partaker of this um reality and then you know to to tie things up to make sure that we are in order peter talked about what happened to them in, in Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and he he referred to what Joel prophesied um Peter was addressing the the multitude in verse 15 he said these people are not drunk as you assume since it is only the third hour of the day that is 9 a.m but this is the beginning of what was spoken of through the prophet Joel and it shall be in the last days says God that I will pour out my spirit upon all mankind and your sons and daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see divinely prompted visions and your old men shall dream divinely prompted dreams and all of that so um peter was referring to the things we are experiencing he was saying is what joel prophesied in the old testament so he was saying this is the reality of that prophecy do you understand and it's interesting to know that you know when we talk about the last days the last days is not the you know when 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 we say it's just by the way when we say the last days it's not really about that you know jesus is coming it's about the dispensation that we are in now the dispensation of the holy spirit is the dispensation of the last days because after the holy spirit there's no other godhead coming into manifestation there was a time that god the father was was a manifestation on earth he, he related with our father's god um the god of abraham isaac jacob it was god the father relating to men a time came the son came in the form of jesus and related with men after jesus came the holy spirit came that's why we call it the last days so he said in the last days talking about so the last days is the era of the spirit we are in the dispensation of the holy spirit and every and after this dispensation there is no other dispensation coming so this is referred to as the last days so now it's also important to know that we are in that dispensation of the spirit so any person that wants to do anything worthwhile in the kingdom of god must have a fellowship a deep connection with the spirit of god because we are in his dispensation do you understand so finally as we, we, we have noted there's always an enablement so when the holy spirit came upon the 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 disciples 120 of them in the upper room he gave them an enablement remember for the time of moses it was prophecy they all prophesied now when he came upon the disciples they all began to speak in other tongues so this was the the enablement that he gave them do you understand so when we talk about the baptism of the holy spirit and link it to speaking in other tongues what we are saying is that the initial evidence of this baptism is speaking in other tongues as we will see in several other scriptures so we can see that in acts chapter 2 verse 4 you know the, the, the there's what we call the law of first mention where something is mentioned first you know that was the first place that in that's of course in the new testament that the people were baptized with the holy spirit so when they were baptized they spoke in other tongues so we know that 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 is an evidence of the baptism now in acts chapter 10 verse 44 to 46 the story of cornelius when they were baptized the scripture says that they began to magnify god in tongues 
do you understand so we also see that that tongues was also an evidence that they manifested and then also we also see it in acts chapter 19 verse 6 and in acts chapter 8 verse 17 to 18 so when we read through all these places we'll see that the initial evidence of um the the initial evidence of baptism of the holy spirit is speaking in other tongues do you understand so um um i believe we'll spend some <laughs> much time um which was not part of the plan um but i believe that you've gained some things you've gained some understandings you know when we come back in the next episode of this um series we'll be looking at the posture of the early disciples as regarding the baptism of the holy spirit and you know god will help us thank you for joining us in this episode i believe you've been blessed you know give us a thumbs up you know make a comment in the comment section what have you learned you know what are the, the questions you have if there are any just ask them and by the spirit of god i will try to attend to them and then if there are things that you you know you want me to talk about about or, or on this series just you know also let me know in the comment section do where to share the video if you've not subscribed subscribe click the notification bell god bless you and you know enjoy the rest of your day bye